been a, a crazy year. People were just uh, expecting and dreaming of more freedom and of a better uh, economic situation. In 2011, a wind of freedom has blown over the Arabic world, the hope of a new spring. There was hope in Tunisia, uh, there was hope in Egypt, a little bit hope in Libya, some hope in Yemen. But for many Christians, it's more like an Arabic winter. Not only because it occurred in winter time, but also because it brought a lot of fear. But very soon, the Christians discovered that uh, one of the dominant forces in their country were the uh, Islamists. Sometimes they are organized, like in Egypt. Sometimes they are not that organized, like in Tunisia. Uh, we have seen threats against Christians uh, in Tunisia, in Egypt, uh, especially in Syria. In Tunisia, uh, a Catholic priest was killed. Churches have been attacked in uh, Egypt, so that is a real concern. Also in the country of Syria, there's a lot of fear among the Syrian Christians. Already things are moving, and you can be part of it through your prayers. You have quite a few Muslims in the region who are having questions about their future. We have been able to bring in large quantities of Bibles and the demand for scriptures and the interest in Christian study books is up all over in the region. Understand the need to pray with the youth of the world. Take part in Shockwave 2012 and empower the Christians in the Arabic world. I would like to ask you to continue to pray for strength, for persistence and for hope and that they will continue to be sold in the light in the Middle East.